Okay, so I wanted to show you how to uh, run last night's activity um, in the local Cali box rather than in Azure because I was able to get it to work in my Azure, but several students are saying that they can't get it to run there, so I don't know what's wrong. Um, I'm working with a couple of students. We're waiting like 24 hours to see if it's some kind of rate limiting thing, um, you know, where maybe Shodan is limiting the number of hosts that we can look up or Azure might be limiting something. But either way, let's go ahead and just run it in um, our local machine. So if you have the Galaxy 3 environment, go ahead and do CaliBox up and let's bring it up. And it's going to take a few minutes to come up here. So I'm going to pause the recording for a few minutes. Well, you know what? No, I'll leave it running. Since I want you to see how the box starts up since we've never started this one up in class yet. You know, um, okay, there we go. I was about to pause the recording again because it looked like it was going to take too long and I don't want to keep you hanging on the video here. Although you can fast forward a little bit. All right, so I will go ahead and pause it as it's counting up 10% all the way up to like 100%. When it gets around 90%, I will resume the recording. Okay, so it's uh, finally finished building. If yours isn't finished yet, you may want to go ahead and pause the video here. So uh, the machine is now loaded. Now it is configuring it. And I'm also going to go through my demo that I did right before the activity because I think they're kind of dependent on one another. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it again. It looks like it's going to take a few minutes on these stages. Okay, so the machine finally finished building. So let's go ahead and do CaliBox SSH, log in. All right, and I'm going to pick up with the first demo. Actually, it was the last demo of the night, but I mean the demo right before you did the activity. So we're logged into our um, Cali box now. It's also called Camino, and we're logged in as the Vagrant account. So let's um, do a recon ng and hit enter. 
you can see that no modules are installed at this point. So we could install them individually, uh, but let's go ahead and just install all of them. It only takes a, a minute to install everything anyway. So marketplace install all. So this will load our Shodan IP, our hacker target, and the re reports uh, HTML that we need for both activities. Okay, so you can see there's a bunch of API keys that we can be registering. The Shodan one is the one we care about right now. Let's do a key list. Um, maybe we have to go ahead and load the module first. So let's go ahead and do that. Modules, load, um, recon. Oh, uh, let's see, what's it called again? I think I went too far down into my demo. So it's uh, modules load recon slash host dash port slash showdown underscore IP. And now let's do our keys list. I think uh, that's what I did. I left off the S, so it probably would have worked without loading this module. But either way, you can see there's no keys in there. So let's go ahead and get our key from Shodan. Let's go over to Shodan.io. Log in. I'm already logged in here, so I'm going to click on account. I'm going to show my API key. I'm going to double click it and copy it. All right, so now I'm going to add the key. So I'm going to do a keys add showdown, showdown underscore API. I pretty much tapped through all of this. I only typed one or two letters and tapped through it. So go ahead and paste that key here. You want to keep this key secret, by the way, because this is your private um, you know, API key. And if someone else has it, they're going to be using your Shodan account. Um, but I'm going to be refreshing mine, so that's why I don't mind sharing it. If you ever share yours or feel like it's been exposed, there is a reset button on that same page. All right, so I've added that Shodan key, so that's ready to go. Let's do an info on this module and see what settings are set. So we need to set this um, source to sans.org right now it's set to default. So let's go ahead and do options, space set, space, source. And again, I just typed capital S and tab, space, sans.org. Okay, as I mentioned the other night, uh, with the Shodan Pro account, we would have, uh, we could have multiple queries uh, however, because we don't have a paid or pro account, we're limited. So we're going to use another tool called Hacker Target. This will use Shodan to query all of the hosts that belong to sans.org. So now let's do modules, uh, load, recon, um, domains, hosts, and then Hacker Target, and enter. Let's do an info here as well. Uh, you can see the same thing default there. So we can actually up arrow because the um, option name is the same. It's source in both of them. So we can just up arrow and use the same one over again. So it's sans.org. All right, so now it's all set up. Let's go ahead and do the run. This is just like we did last night in class. Uh, found 103 hosts. All right, so that was the end of that. Uh, demo. Now um, you were supposed to do your activity. So let's go and do the activity. This is the one that was failing for a lot of you. All right. So to get back to the main module, by the way, we're going to come back into Hacker Target 
but um, I couldn't remember last night um, when I showed some of you, um, I couldn't remember how to get back up to the next level. Well, all you need to do is actually hit a question mark and it gives you all of the available commands, uh, but it is back. So let's go ahead and type back and we're back at the default. Um, we're not in any modules, we're at the default prompt. So let's go ahead and go back into hacker target. So I just up arrowed, I'm repeating the previous command, modules load recon domains hosts at hacker target. So I'm gonna hit enter. This time we're going to change our target though. So now they want us to change the target to megacorp one. So let's go ahead and do an info and we can see it is set to sans.org. So let's go back up to the option set source, erase the sans.org, say megacorp1.com. Now do an info and we can see it is set to megacorp1. All right, so now let's uh, load our uh, HTML reporting module because we want to generate an HTML report. So let's go to modules, load, report, HTML. And from here, we're going to do info. So we can see we have creator blank, customer blank, file name. This is where the results are gonna go to and uh, sanitize. I'm not gonna go through what that is right now, but let's go ahead and do options, set, creator space pen tester could be our name if we're actually doing a real pen test in real life and by the way these are the same tools that are being used in real life by the pen testers um, and now we're going to set the customer uh, option to mega corp one because they are our customer in this case all right, so that's all done. We can do an info again. We see that uh, creator set to pen tester, customer set to megacorp1. Um, let's go ahead and run it. All right, you can see uh, it says report generated at home, vagrant recon ng workspaces default results.html. Let's go ahead and either type exit or control D. Control D is a quick way to get out. Um, so I'm going to do a find on a dot recon and I'm already in home vagrant. Um, yeah. Oh, it didn't exit me out of the uh, program yet. Actually, I guess I do have to hit exit. Sometimes control D will work from some utilities. It won't from this one apparently. So now we can do a um, Actually, I'll do a find dot uh, recon dash ng um, space dash name space asterisk dot pdf. Mm. Well, it should be there. Let's go ahead and it is there. Um, so. Let's go ahead and copy it. We're gonna copy it to the slash downloads. That's that shared directory that I have um, set up for the UCI box and the Kali box. So arrow back over here and change the LS to a CP. So now it's in our um, home machine. So now we can actually bring this report up on our home machine. So let's go ahead and go down here. We're gonna to go to UCI user. Galaxy 3 um, directory and downloads under that. And now we can see our results here and it was just created at 819. Let's go ahead and double click on it. And this is our report that we just generated. I need to resize it. You can see the resizing here too is so much better than that Azure environment that's so frustrating. Um, we can resize this too because it's kind of blown up. Um, so this is the summary of our report at the top. So zero domains, zero companies, and so on, but we have 103 hosts. We can click on the hosts here and it'll give us more details on the, um, the hosts themselves. So we have an ace.securityawareness.sans.org, 
gives us the IP address, gives us the module that found it. So if we had other modules that um, added entries to the hosts uh, table, we would see that here, but it's all currently hacker target. All right, so anyway, that, well, let me check and make sure. I think that is everything in, yes, that's everything in the activity and the report. Um, so sorry it didn't work in Azure. Um, I would recommend going ahead and doing it in the Kali box here um, so that you at least experience how it works. I feel bad that it didn't work for you last night. So anyway, go ahead and give it a try.